I decided to start making videos of all the different types of crafts that I do. Um, here's a Tender Heart Care Bear charm that I made. Of course, it's kind of big. It's he's like two and a half inches tall. He's got his heart and heart nose and a little heart on his tush. He's got hearts on his bottom of his feet. He took me a long time to make, but I think it's kind of fun. He can. He's got a little eye pin to and hang them up on whatever. But he is fun to make. I also made these little bitty books. Got a clay and you open it up it says P.S. I love you. Here's a blue one and I got a purple one that says P.S. I love you. And a red one. And all my, st I try not to use any paint. I've been trying to use nothing but clay. Um, when I was little, I wouldn't eat deviled eggs because I thought they were bad, so my family started calling them angel eggs. And then I decided to have a little fun and play on that, and I made these little deviled eggs, but since they're angel eggs, I put little wings on them. And the red is supposed to look like, um, paprika. So I got, made a bigger one, and then I made two smaller ones. They're little. They're cute. They're funny. I like them. <laughs> and then I had some fun and I made these itty bitty little cupcake charms. And I got drizzle on them and little ears with a dollop of whipped cream. All made out of clay. And I made it to look kind of like a little tiger and I got two of them. Itty bitty little charms. They're cute. And then my daughter was like, Mama, you should do a skunk. So, <laughs> here's another cupcake. And here's the tail and the ears and the, make it look like a little skunk. And I got two of them as well. Oops. <laughs> they're tiny. They're hard to hold on to. And they're all textured. Of course, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> I also decided to make some little itty bitty snow cones. I thought that would be fun. I found the glitter and I thought, you know, that would be pretty neat. So, here's one snow cone and I made two snow cones. I also made this one, but I didn't like it too well. It's a little cloud and a rainbow. It's like a friendship charm that you put together. And Well, I don't know. I just don't like the way it turned out. Okay, so I have two daughters that love to have ribbons and bows in their hair, so I decided to make some ribbon butterfly hair clips. Um, I have two pink Hello Kitty pink and white hair clips that I've that I made and my daughters absolutely love these um, but I also wasn't sure if I liked this liked them in this style so I tried again making them also this way so you could see that they're completely different they're the basic same design it's just they were sewn together differently so I've got two like this two like this and I've made some purple ones with polka dots and I got also in that style and then I made two each of the black and red as well as two each in that style which I don't really think it looks really good with these colors anyway <laughs> like that but my girls love them clippies in their hair so they could be pretty. Here's some goat's milk soap that I've made from scratch. I got the goat's milk from my mother because she has lots and lots of goats. <laughs> um, I'm allergic to store-bought soaps and over the last few years I've pretty much learned how to make my own. And this batch happens to be jasmine and Lang Lang essential oil in it. 
I don't use anything artificial in my soaps since that usually is what my problem is. I have to use all natural products when I make my soaps. And to get them round like this, I use these PVC pipes and I put a cap on the end and use this as my mold and then when it's set up, you push it out and you slice it and you got these nice little round discs of soap. And of course you can see these are what was on the top. It's not so pretty but that's okay. I use it. It's not a big deal for me. And I also, this is a batch that I had made a while ago and grated it using vegetable, a vegetable soap that I make. And with this stuff, I can remelt it and make whatever I want out of it, including laundry detergent and all that fun stuff. <laughs> uh, I recently moved into an apartment, and there's nothing but white walls, and I'm not allowed to paint them, and I cannot stand white walls. To me, white walls is depressing, so I decided to start painting a picture. This picture is not finished. <laughs> I've still got a long way to go on it, but this is what it's gotten to so far. I'm going to end up putting peacock feathers all over it and blend the peacock feathers into the wild colors on the back. So right now she kind of looks sort of Indian on a rainbow hippie tie-dye who knows what background but trust me she won't look like that when she's done. Um, it's made out of using acrylic paint because I have three children who love to get into mommy's stuff and I figured if I tried to make oil do an oil painting that they would, when I'm not looking, start smudging it. And I really didn't want to deal with that, so I used acrylic. Because acrylic dries pretty fast. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. If I was too fast on certain things or too slow, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this, but I figured it would be kind of fun because I do enjoy looking at other people's crafting that they do. I don't consider myself an artist, I consider myself a crafter and I just do what I enjoy doing and I'm constantly changing what I do to something different. Thanks for watching.